welcome back to Buxton FC and our second episode. Introducing our first bit of FA Cup action at this edition's game. Um, since we're here for the opening two games, uh, which I hope you enjoyed very much, uh, we've had some mixed form. Only one win, four draws, and two defeats in that time. Uh, we drew with Limington Spa 1-1, uh, Harry Bunn scoring for us, Jack Edwards equalising for them. Before a 3-1 victory over Hereford, we were 1-0 down, Ryan Lloyd scoring a penalty. Before James Harding and 2 from Zach Durnley, uh, giving us a comfortable victory. 1-1 against Blythe at DJ Romolo, penalty, um, JJ O'Donnell scoring for them 2 minutes later. 2-2 uh, against Tolfed, Serhat Tasmadia, Diego Di Girolamo scoring a penalty. Uh, 94th minute equaliser, the second goal for Nathan Blissett, giving them a share of the points. No, no, with Kettering, it's a poor game, we just could not find the back of the net. And even worse against Kings Lynn, um, we didn't have a single shot on target in this game. Uh, Ponticelli is going to be on a goal, giving Kings Lynn the victory. And then we just got destroyed against Boston last time out. Uh, Diego Di Girolamo scoring once again for us, but we were already 3 0 down. Two from Jordan Crawford and one from Tom Hart gave them the victory. So, league wise, we're currently sat in 10th place. Obviously, it's very, very early days. We're only seven points off top. If we can turn this round quickly, we're in with a decent chance of playoffs at least. But first game up is FA Cup second qualifying round action. We've been drawn away against Kings Langley, uh, who were in the Southern Premier Central. Not, you know, that many players. In their team, actually, they've got a, you know, 11, but no goalkeeper that is a proper player. They're all greyed out. Um, this is a game we should be winning, but we are going for rotating. So we've got a new skin as well. We're using the uh, Zealand skin uh, as we were in FM22. Uh, that's just been released as well. But yeah, rotated squad giving some players a chance that haven't been playing as much. Hudson, Ander, Brisley, Sams, Clark. Kirby, Goodridge, Poole, Bunn, McKay and Gilchrist and with Granite, Deja Alamo, Bowden, Dillingham, Greaves, Osborne and Tasman Day on the bench. Dearly not quite fit enough after picking up a knock last time out. Um, it's a bit of a risk rotating because obviously the board wants to reach the first round proper. Uh, but hopefully this team is going to be good enough. Uh, I oh, why are we complacent? I'm gonna tell them that we should be winning this game. Go and make sure we do. I want a solid defensive effort, which is made one o'clock, unsure. Dominic midfield, which is yeah, quality fishing. Brilliant. We've upset people. We've upset people. Uh, um yeah, but I mean, we should be beating these. I know it's early rounds, but we are the better team in this game, in theory. Uh, the Lacey Turner with the throw in for Johnson, and it was very nearly 1 0 to Kings Langley there. Early on, a decent chance in another free kick here to be put into the box. Mully towards back post and ahead to clear. Carvalho is going to get there. Chips one up towards the edge of the area to Case, who's allowed to hit one and scored an absolute screamer. What a goal from Ryan Case that is. Um, we are 1 0 down after 8 minutes, and deservedly so. We just did not close him down at all, and he's unleashed an absolute rocket. Uh, um, not in the script, that wasn't. But we carry on. We hopefully get back into this game. We've got quality on the bench, should we need it. I really, really hope some of these backups um, can show they deserve the place in the squad as Paul's dispossessed. Carvalho again, who's looked very bright so far in this game. Swings across in, and De Lacey turns made it 2-0. And we are sinking with Arthur Tracy, and we're berating the team. 19th minute of the game, and Carvalho has created a couple of goals. Good cross, but Ander shouldn't be getting beaten there at the, the far post. And it's 2 0 for Kings Langley, and a, a cup set could be on here. We do have a corner there. Can we get straight back into this game? We can't with a corner like that. Kirby to deliver once again. Sams, Paul. Sams, we're slowly working our way backwards here. Clark plays on forward. Gilchrist might have been offside. The flag has stayed down, though. Kirby once again. Dribbles out wide. Ander, can he find a cross? He can, but nobody. 
And we don't win that second ball, but we win the third ball. Ball. Clark with a bit of space, maybe. Finds Gilchrist. He beats a man and it's deflected and it has gone into the back of the net. And it is 2-1. Jason Gilchrist gets his first goal for the season. Um, in his first start of the season. And it's a very, very lucky goal. He should have been dispossessed there. Should have been dispossessed there. And then he shot. Deflects off the defender. Probably would have beaten the keeper regardless. But a bit of luck all around. But that's fine. Sometimes, you know, you just need to get a slice of luck. And Teller with the goal kick down. Field. Kirby wins that header. Kirby's played decent so far. Um, I'm a bit worried about him being on that booking. Carvalho's cross once again. He's header cleared this time. But only to Lacey Turner. Molly's hit one from range and it's hit the bar. And uh, we need to start closing down a lot more. We are going for a high press now. Um, I'm going to ask him to get stuck in as well. I'm just going to push the line up a little bit more. Tell us ball downfield. Ander wins the header. And he actually had time to bring it down there. Ball one into the area. And not a great effort, to be honest with you. Um, crossing isn't working, so we will remove early cross there. Half time with 2 1 down. I'm going to flash my arms and tell them that I'm furious with that. Um, and Jack McKay is coming off straight away for Scott Bowden. Is he? No, he's not. I've changed my mind. Jack Dillingham is going to come on for him. Harry Bunt is going to come off for Oliver Greaves. So a couple of changes there at half time. And let's go attacking. And let's issue a few words of encouragement. As we try and get back into this game, still need another two goals to go through, otherwise we have to go to a replay. Um, and obviously that means we don't have to concede again, which is always a bit of a worry with us. Ball forward, Carvalho is on side, but Sam's now heads that second ball clear. Goodridge breaks it up. Kirby to Greaves. Plays it back to Sam's. I'm fine with that. Sensible football, but then Kima wins the header. Carvalho once again, and Paul's going to get himself sent off, and that is my fault. For sticking in that safe bug. Um, that's my fault for get, putting in get stuck in. Um, and well, what do we do now? Do we move Kirby into midfield? And sorry, Jack Dillingham, I know you've just come on at half time, but we're going to go five at the back here. And now we're going to have to demand more, and we're just going to have to go very attacking. We're down to 10 men. We're a goal down. We've got half an hour to find an equaliser at least. Clark with the throw in to the feet of Greaves. Gets it back off him. Sam's chips the ball forward, but had a clear. And I just got a bad feeling about this. I feel like we could be crashing out of the FA Cup. Um, unless we can find a moment of magic, but down to 10 men. It's going to be very, very tough. As Brisley makes a mistake now, but Granite covers for him. It's fallen to Molly, and it should be game over, really. Um, I don't think we have another change, do we? We don't. I was going to go. Pedicia Alamo on, but we can't. This is the team that we are relying on to find a late equaliser. We're berating the team now. We do just anything we can to fire them up to get that equaliser. We've got seven and a half minutes, plus stoppage time for 10 men to find a goal. Case. Knocking it around well here, but we do get a foot in. Gilchrist isn't going to get there. And Granite's made a mistake, and we are out of the FA Cup. First save. Oh, no. I 
I mean, this poor run of form continues. Granite with a horrific mistake. And yeah, rotating the team clearly has not worked. We've gone out 3 1, and the water bottle is getting thrown. Absolutely embarrassing. Well, that hurts. That does hurt. And it's very, very disappointing. And now we have to play Chester. Praying to turn this form around. So we're getting a few reports in the media about morale perhaps going down, dressing room issues, which, you know, is true. Uh, it definitely is true. De Alamo is unhappy about us not getting to the proper stages of the FA Cup, which I apologised for and he wasn't happy about and now demands I apologise to him, which I was doing anyway. Um, regardless, Richardson, Burke, Brisley, Granite, Newton, Malt, Kirby, Hardy, Tastamere, Burnley and De Alamo are the team that we are putting out to try and end this terrible run of form um, against the Chester side that aren't doing great either this season. Um, second, um, do it for the fans. It's not, not really good for that at all. Uh, but you can see two draws, three defeats in our last five isn't good enough at all. Uh, Chester which apparently are in poor form with three wins, a draw and defeat. Yeah. Okay, then. I mean, they are down in 18th place right now. Obviously, one of them wins was in the FA Cup as well. But it's going to be a very, very tough game. I'm under no illusions about that at all. And, yeah, we, we need to turn this around. We need to start performing. I'm going to go cautious early on because Chester... Have dominated these opening 10 minutes. Richardson's ball downfield is headed clear. Hardy misses his header. Weeks to Thomas. Low cross and worth it. So one more down. Ugh. It's just constant mistakes at the moment. Hardy misses that header. Allows him to play the ball out to Thomas. And then nobody tracks Willoughby. And it's 1-0. Very, well, pretty early on in this game. Was it tight offside, was it? Not really. Uh, we're going to encourage, but there's a highlight straight from kickoff. Newton. Checks back, finds Hardy. Granite. Looks forward for DJ Alamo into the area. Tries to stand one up and it's cleared out. Hardy back to DJ Alamo. Has the Mia hits one. What a goal that is. We are instantly back on level pegging. 1 1. What a goal that is. And uh, Newton, uh, sorry, Hardy wins that ball. DJ Alamo to Tasta the Mia. Uses the defender to block off the view of the goalkeeper. And, uh, right from the bottom corner. And they say instantly back level. And that's exactly what we need to do. With what has been so far our only shot of the game. Granite now heads clear. Dernley doesn't win that ball and that was a very good effort. That was a very, very good effort from Chester. Let's demand more. Grizzly's pressured by that feedback. Well, perhaps you shouldn't be complacent then. It's the header is just wide for my Chester as well. We're going defensive now. And let's go back to balance for these final couple of minutes of the half. Free kick to defend Weeks has hit one, and Richardson can only parry it wide. Hardy clears downfield. Burnley doesn't win the header. Edwards um, puts it aside, but that's the end of the half. It's 1 1, um, and we're just not getting shots off. Grizzly is complacent. He's coming off. I can't be dealing with complacent players. Um, I'd take Newton off if I had someone to bring on for him. Sam's going left back, mate. And Dernley's coming off from McKay. I've 
probably overreacted a bit there. Let's be honest. Three changes all at half time. But I just I can't be dealing with complacent players when we're in such a poor run of form. Sam's with a throw in. Gets it back. Can he find a cross in maybe? Plays it back to Granite, who switches the play but isn't going to find Burke like that. Back to the goalkeeper, Tyra. Looks downfield. Sam's plays it back forward. Dijo Alamo is in and he's beat the keeper and it is 2-1. And we're going defensive now. We are going to look to uh, park the bus a little bit. And it was a good ball from Sam's. Burke misses the header and Dijo Alamo gets in. And uh, buys past the keeper. Gives us the lead with 35 minutes remaining of this game. And a very undeserved goal as well, really. When you look at the statistics. And we're going even more defensive now. With 12 minutes left, it's a free kick from Weeks. He's nearly scored two now. Uh, we're going to ask for focus once more because it was went so well last time. Morgan deflected. Richardson hits the bar. We do get it scramble clear. We've got three additional minutes to hold on. And we do hold on and break this terrible run of form. And um yeah, we're gonna give the players deserved praise for that one. Um it's been rough, it has been a rough patch, but all that matters, we are still in the playoffs despite of this. Ardley has been sacked by Solihull Moors um, in the division of others. Player of the week isn't us, but yeah, we're up into seventh as it stands. Uh, we're plenty of the game, uh, obviously plenty of season left to go. Uh, in Monday's episode, we're going to do Banbury and Barsley. Um, try and leave eight games between each episode so i think that's what we'll do um next time out and hopefully we can build off this victory in the meantime and come back in a very very good position i hope you've enjoyed this one have a great great weekend and i'll see you on monday for the next one bye